Um, overall, the um, issues around children and youth has been an alarming situation in the country where I'm working. Uh, the priorities at this point in time is basically looking at the children who are not able to access uh, the services of health and education. Children, those who are deprived of their rights. There are many abandoned children who, whose family just leave them and just go to work and never come back. And there are um, children, those who are impacted of disasters. As you all know that Indonesia is known to be the supermarket for disasters. So it becomes a very important fact for us to look at these issues, which is really impacting the lives of children. We work in some pockets which are very, very excluded geographically. We have been working with children, those who are malnourished, children, those who are not being able to even have the experiences of um, having care from their parents because there are a lot of issues around maternal deaths. Uh, we work uh, with children, those who are unable to uh, go to school because it's very far away from the place that they live. Priorities is also in terms of looking at children, those who are into labor. Because of a very severe poverty situation in Indonesia, uh, normally the families goes out to work and when they go out, uh, there is no one to take care of those children in terms of the early child care. So child fund priorities also to take care of those children through different um, activities that we organize involving the common people and involving the um, cadres who are really interested to work on children's development. So a big chunk of work that we are doing is around uh, street children where we are trying to bring them back to mainstream them so that they can edu get education they can they are not exploited by people those who take them for um, for trafficking so there is a big issue about child prostitution uh, so our priorities are diverse but then our focus is in relation to what the specific problem arises in a specific location where we work if a child is unable to read and write and if we see them you know able to even say about their name and write their name and even sing a song for us that's an indicator for development for them when we look at children, those who are um, in the streets begging, children, those who are in the streets collecting rag like they act like rag pickers. But if they are seen in a rehabilitation center where they are trying to learn, that's for us as an indicator of success. And they are not very politically, you know, mm -hmm. equipped or commercially equipped or economically equipped. But whatever they say are true and real and so innocent.